Uh, today we're going to show you how to install the trim tab in the aileron. It's very similar for the aileron and the elevator. Okay, there's different presentations for our trim tabs. This is the standard presentation that we have. Okay, it's got a, a counterweight. If you can see it here. This counterweight is very important to avoid the trim tab fluttering if, the, if there's a disconnection from the servo. There's the servo inside. There's a little servo inside here with the servo cable coming out from the top. Okay, the servo is linked directly to the trim tab. Okay, uh, the, this whole thing weighs about five ounces. And in, in airplanes that have a counterweight at the back of the, at the four edge of the aileron, we should uh, complete this counterweight with the uh, proper trim tab weight so that the aileron is balanced. You should always balance your, your flying surfaces when you install the trim tab. Okay, as I was saying, we got the servo, the link, and the counterweight. Uh, we got the hinge. With the hinge pin, it's being held uh, by some clevis here on each side. Okay, so you can disassemble it anytime you want. Okay, it's all riveted. And we always supply the two-sided 3M tape so you can stick the trim tab under the alien. It's the way it should go. One of the things you have to think about is the, the wire. Where do you put the wire? Uh, you should rig the wire inside the, uh, the wing, okay, to the instrument. And then depending how the wire comes out here, you can either peel off a little bit of tape, okay, and put the wire flush like that, okay. Always facing forward, uh, sorry, facing back, so that any, any drops of water will not get into the servo. They'll, all, they'll always flow back. If you install it like this, or front, any water that gets into the cable will go into the servo. We don't want that. We want any, any humidity to go aft, even if you have to put the cable like this afterwards. That's if you install the cable outside. What, the other thing you can do before you install the aileron trim, you can drill a small hole here and you can rig the cable through the hole and into the aileron. Okay. Now, I say you have to count the weight. If you feel this is very heavy, it weighs about five ounces, you can always uh, separate the servo from the trim tab, okay? Some people will separate the servo from the trim tab and cut the, the, the part that goes on the plane, you can cut it smaller. It doesn't have to be this big. Uh, and then you can have a separate servo that you can install here in the rear, in the, sorry, in the, in the leading edge of the aileron. So it will actually count away a little bit your chin tap. It just depends what you want to do. This part faces forward, okay? And then you can put the trim tap here. If you do that, you will need a longer push rod. We can provide that if you if you need to. So let us know what kind of installation you want, and we can provide it with the right. So, for example, this is a double-sided sticky tape that you use in GoPro cameras. It's very strong, and there's a lot of area here, more than you need to. So you can actually cut this in half if you want, and have less area. Or you can actually remove all the tape and rivet. You can rivet the trim tab onto the aileron. Okay, then rig the, tape, the cable either like this, like I said before, or in a hole inside the aileron. 
okay so again very important to, to counterweight your aileron if you have a counterweight some ultra light airplanes or light, light sport aviations airplanes they are not too fast so they don't need a counterweight of the at the front but fast airplanes like the rv and other fast airplanes will need a counterweight at the leading edge of the aileron okay the same thing would be for the elevator and of course the elevator is more critical and here is a uh, very important to counterweight here at the front so any because in, in the rv the the arm from or the distance from the pivot to the trim tab is similar to the distance from the leading edge of the of the elevator so this is where the weight goes so put about the same way and you'll be all right otherwise you just have to balance it it's very important on the elevator less important on the aileron but also important okay similar thing here you you can peel the, the paper off and stick the three tap onto or under the elevator. Then rig the cable any way you want, either like this or through a hole. Or you can use this type of separate servo. See it here. Put the servo here and the elevator here. This will reduce the arm weight that you have to put. Okay, finally, uh, the best place to put the trim tab is uh, in the center of the aileron. It's where the least turbulence is and where it has more, uh, uh, more force. You can put it here or you can put it here. The best place is in the center.